Hello everyone! Welcome to the finale of the Monster Mash. Uh, I'm Fallen Meeps, and today we will just be dictating our simple 1v1 here. Um, I'm going to be solo commentating this one, because unfortunately it's kind of late for a lot of people. But, but I'm very excited to um, commentate this finale here. And the winner will probably get some candy if I remember correctly, but either way. Let us switch to our game capture here. Yeah, these uh, fellas. We're gonna have some background music after the game has started. Uh, right now we have Maleficent and Charborg. Charborg here, the uh, representing Mi Milkshake, the winner of the customs round, and here Maleficent, the winner of the uh, basic rounds. Uh, this will be a best two out of three, uh, and whoever wins wins. I think we can just start this already. some candy land. All right, we can turn that off now. We're gonna have more cheery music this stream. This spooky, spooky, not that good. There's RPM already winning that match. Charboard here needs a little refresher here. Charboard does need heroes with a total of four, four more strength under uh, under his control at each location. While Maleficent just needs four curses at her location. Both of these villains both of these players are extremely talented. Right now they're setting up the chess clock. Both of these players are extremely talented. Um, and they've been able to make it through our preliminary rounds. I think they're fiddling around with it. Oh, never mind. I guess he has the one that works. Never mind. <laughs> never mind, lol. There it is. Okay. Yeah, they got it. Oh, he's saying that. That. He needs suppressive. What do I do? Give him a second. I'm working. Oh, gaming. Ah, I can't see his cards. Yeah, that's just a common TTS mistake. There's not much we can do about it. They'll give him. We gotta give him a second. Oh, can they see their cards? Oh, it's just a color disparity. Ah, I see. They need to sit where the colors were set up. TTS is always so buggy. We barely. <laughs> I think we're fine. We good? Presses his button. Uh. Uh. Oh, okay. There you go. Oh, there we go. All right. Turn started. Alright, here we go, I have Charborg. Charborg basically has to play heroes from his uh, Fate Discard pile into his realm. Once he has uh, heroes, basic, four heroes basically, under his control with a strength of four or more, they will, um, they will, uh, he will win uh, at the start of his turn. Fire women here are allowing him to play more Fire Women. 
and here Maleficent just needs four curses. Curses are a special type of uh, card that can be played, uh, or a special type card type that can be played. They're just like items, except they have basically special conditions uh, to be discarded and removed. Let's see how Maleficent treats this game here. Uh, this matchup is desperate as... Ooh, we have an early green fire here being played to the cottage. Uh, that's allowed. That's already Maleficent 1 fourth. however, that is blocking off the, the cottage, so Maleficent can't move there later in the turn, as green fire is discarded if Maleficent moves there. Uh, ooh, immediate ty tyranny. Immediate tyranny, allowing Maleficent to draw three cards there. Uh... Um, there's the cards there. Timer is paused because she is doing a, a quick action there. Um, but yeah, uh, Maleficent just needs four curses. They're basically special items that will be discarded under certain conditions, but will also grant her something. Here's here we see RPM taking his turn. Seems like he's going to take Maleficent this turn. More souls for the devil. He's gaining one. He's gaining three power here. Choosing to maybe discard the alligator rivals, but he's probably keeping that in his hand. There we go, we see minions being discarded. Minions are allowing, are some effect scrying. Uh, and some effect, an ally scrying. We see a guards here. Unfortunately, we see an early Fauna discard here. Fauna being the only one that can discard Dreamless Sleep from her location. This is a scary matchup to behold. Give me a second. I'm back. Uh, Fauna, yes, Fauna is a scary thing to see discarded early as she's the only way to discard Dreamless Sleeps. We see a Force of Thorns being played to Dreamfire's location. This per basically is a protection tactic to make sure Force of Thorns isn't discarded as Force of Thorns is discarded when it's it. Oh, we're seeing a Charborg, Charborg fate here. We're seeing Peter Pegasus or Strowowski. Apologies, I don't know much about fading uh, Charborg here. So we're just going to watch this action play. I don't know, keep talking about Maleficent here. Uh, but, uh, uh, Maleficent here protecting Forest of Thorns as heroes can't be played to Green's Fire location, and Forest of Thorns is discarded if a hero is with the strength of four or more, or when a hero is played to that location, so he's kind of protecting there. We're seeing the Sorcerer here, I think. The Sorcerer not doing much here. Uh, as there are no brooms in play, brooms are an important ally for Chernabog here, uh, because uh, they they aren't discarded in a vacant session, I think, or they are able to play themselves. I don't remember. We're seeing the end of Maleficent's turn here. Seeing uh, Mickey being moved from Ball to Mountain, maybe uh, RPM wants to use that fade action later. Ooh, Tyrannosaurus Rex, allowing heroes, there we go, we're seeing it right now, allowing heroes to be discarded from the top, not only weakening the fake game, but as well allowing him to <coughs> pull them out later on and have them as uh, under under his control. Here we're back on Maleficent, uh, moving to the forest, gaining power, we might see another curse played, or maybe some uh, more items. Here we go, Dreamless Sleep, as said before, Fauna is the only thing that can discard Dreamless Sleep besides an ally being played there, but that is completely on Maleficent's Verition. Uh, already three curses on the board, Maleficent seems to be the one ahead here. We are seeing uh, Chernabog moving to the Festival of... I don't know how to pronounce it, I'm not going to even try. Moving there to be able to fate while being able to get some of there. Oh, we're seeing Into the Flames here, recovering the Hippo. Uh, to come under his play, we're seeing two Sadistics being discarded. Uh, Chernabog is officially, uh, half done here. Sword of Truth, ouch! Not that good of a card here, and, uh, except, actually, maybe it is, uh, because it is giving, uh, Maleficent a little bit run for her money here, uh, as she needs to gain a little bit more power to play more curses at that location. Uh, but nothing that we want to see here so far. Uh, well, I guess not really, because there's not a lot that can discard Dreamless Sleep. Uh, maybe some hero prevention. Uh, we are seeing uh, Maleficent about to fate Chernabog this turn, gaining one power. Let's see what she does here. <sighs> As mentioned before, curses can be moved. Oh, we're seeing exactly what, what we were expecting. Dreamless Sleep is moving to the right to King Stefan's castle. However, moving it, there, moving it there this early is a bit risky because allies cannot, mm, cannot be played to that location. We're seeing the fate action take place here. We're seeing Bronchus or uh, the last chords of Ava Marie, which can discard a hero under her, 
under Chernobyl control. Probably gonna be Hippo here. Or, or we could see Broncus doing more. Yeah, there we go. We're seeing Broncus probably discarding the Hippo here. It's a win con. There we go. Uh, that is stopping Chernobog a little bit in his tracks. Uh, but yeah, it is a little risky to move uh, Dreamless Sleep already to King Stefan's castle as uh, she will need to move allies there instead of playing them there to prevent Dreamless Sleep to actually get some benefit, to prevent Dreamless Sleep from being discarded so she can actually get some benefit there. We're seeing Alligator Rivals here getting a card back, more souls for the devil. It seems like uh, <clears throat> RPM here is running a bit low on the on the uh, power gaining train. I think he moved Sorcerer's Apprentice as well, allowing him to get his double play back. We're seeing Maleficent move to the to the forest here. She is playing the Raven, with the Raven an amazing card to uh, expedite that action economy, able to gain more power, play more cards, whatever at the start of her turn. We're seeing Sinister Goon being discarded. I'm guessing uh, Dreamless Sleep is just being there. Ooh, Mal could be going for our dragon form. Thank you so much, uh, Alex. Completely forgot about dragon form. We are seeing a fate from Chernabog here. King Stefan. Ooh, King Stefan uh, able to discard green fire. However, unfortunate Aurora discard here. Uh, we are going to see that move there. Uh, discarding green fire. Uh, and now Force of Thorns is vulnerable to... Uh, now, not Aurora, but... Uh, I forget his name, but it is the Prince... Raven moving over there, most likely gaining 3 power, as she doesn't have power yet, there you go. She could be setting up that dragon for for guards later, uh, as she's still keeping King Stefan's castle open. Let's see what she does here. Another Forest of Thorns, that is unfortunate as the only two ways to discard Forest of Thorns are now out of the way. Well, one of the, one of the ways is out of the way, and it's an Aurora a good way. We're saying Frost Fairies are Yen Sid, which is actually a fun fact, Disney backwards. Uh, Yen Sid will ignore the Apprentice, uh, Apprentice, uh, no, sorry, not Apprentices, the Broomsticks, while Frost Fairies will uh, hamper down that power gain. I'm assuming we want to play Yen Sid here, maybe prevent some of the action economy, yet we're seeing Yen Sid being played here. Um, as Yen Sid is really important right now, just to prevent the Broomsticks, and to just... Uh, uh, here to prevent the, some of the broomsticks if they come later on, as they can no longer be, they, they're not going to be discarded by Sorcerer's Apprentice. Uh, Maleficent is running a bit low on time here, 14 out of 17. Uh, RPM, I think gaining 4 power. Uh, I think he, he should gain 6, right? I think we'll just leave that on maybe. Let's see, Maleficent is three-fourths of the way there, Chernabog only one, but Bronchus is on the board now. Let's see what we can pull off here. Right, then moving to the Briar Rose Cottage. To play a card, there we go, there we see that dragon form there, it is discarding guards, basically avoiding that sort of truth. Oh, yeah, Dream of Sleep really helped that dragon form there, allowing them to be discarded. She's moving to the forest, maybe playing a dr Yeah, she's playing a green fire. Maleficent is officially at Wincon. This is scary for Chernabog here. He might not be able to catch up. There we go. Let's see. He's moving to Festival of Broncos. He's, he's playing something, something big. Into the flames. There we go. He is now two-fourths of the way there. Hippo's being played again. Two-fourths of the way there. Sort of truth, or once upon a dream. There we go, that takes him out of Wincon. Or that takes Maleficent out of Wincon. Hey, Wacko, how you doing? Uh, Wacko is the organizer of this event. It's the, the king himself. Uh, we are seeing Greenfire being discarded here. Green, Greenfire, now now this is taking Maleficent out of Wincon. And while Chernabog is making some progress, however, Chernabog's uh, top feet is uh, covered. So if 
Maleficent can get back to WinCon. She does steal this game here. So let's see. It is possible. It is possible that the game could just end here. Raven moved in the forest, gaining three power. So the power gain is not that much of a problem. Oh, we're seeing a cackling goon. I assume she does not have a curse under her con in her hand. As Briar Roads Cotter could have been a loca good location there. Let's see. We see Frost Fairies or Divine Intervention. Divine Intervention allowing the Fate Discard Pile to go back. Yes, it is still the first game like that. Uh, Divine Intervention allowing the Fate Discard Pile to go back. Uh, stopping Chernabog from playing anything else. And also uh, uh, playing into the flames and stealing another hero. And also allowing the Fate uh, to be kind of reshuffled there. We're seeing Broncos being moved here to allow Bald Mountain a better fate location, in my opinion, for him right now. Uh, uh, to be open, we see Tyrannosaurus Rex activation here, discard the top three. Uh, ignoring the Divine Intervention a little bit, we're seeing Alligator Rivals to steal back into the flames. Which will officially mean... Oh, Broncos is defeated uh, with Tyrannosaurus Rex. And we're seeing a mouse defeating a hero. That is a good condition for Melissa Maleficent at this moment. She just wants to keep an empty realm. We are going to see a ra raven move here. Uh, let's see. Oh. Apologies. Let's see. Gaining power. Mm, let's see. Does Maleficent have the curse in hand? No, no curse in hand. Uh, Maleficent is most likely is just going to spend this turn protecting some of her board state. Oh, here's Vanish, allowing the forest to be the location she goes to. There we go. We're seeing the discard of basically her whole hand, or, well, the empty of her whole hand. Back to Chernabog. We're most likely going to see an Into the Fire. Yeah, Into the Flames. Oh, we're seeing... Ooh, Flora and Prince Philip! Prince Philip discarding a forest of thorns that is legendary! Flora, uh... <clears throat> Flora not doing much there. Uh, and Prince, Prince Philip also discarding a raven. Amazing part for Chernabog, especially because Chernabog now does... Now is three-fourths of the way there. Let's see if Maleficent decides to move here because it might not be the best play now that she now needs two curses in hand. Forbidden Mountain, we're seeing a green fire play. It seems like she chose to... Oh, maybe she did discard the Vanish. My fault. My apologies. Uh, it's hard to tell as it is a free card. We're seeing a play here. Frost Fair, Divine Intervention, not doing much besides keeping him from winning here. As one power is not going to do much. So we're seeing the Divine Intervention being played again. Chernobog definitely has the, the leg up here. Uh, as Bronchus is, uh, under his control. We do have the other card. We're seeing a Broomstick. Broomstick, uh, Broomstick's ability is ignored. Uh, we're seeing a Fate on Chernabog's end to try to stop Maleficent a little bit more. There is Greenfire gone again! Uh, gone again. Uh, Tr Maleficent really being gimped by her, uh, Fate organization here. Uh, oh, how her Fate deck is organized here. Apologies. Uh, she is going for another fate in Chernabog as he is three-fourths of the way there. There is still a card that can prevent this. We're seeing another Dreamless Sleep, which cannot be discarded, I don't... If I remember correctly, which is scary as K King Hubert is now also discarded. We're seeing a Jackus. Oh, the last chords of Morva allowing a hero to be discarded. This will now move Chernabog back down to, uh, two forks. Uh, it now depends on what we want to see here. Bronchus is a good discard, a good general discard, but Sorcerer's Apprentice would be later for the later game, would be better for the later game, and we are seeing the discard there. Uh, <clears throat> a bit weird as Bronchus is, or as Yen Sid's already on the board, so Broomstick is kind of just a true strength ally. Oh, but, uh, but, uh, we'll see in the future, I suppose. 
really enjoying this game here. Interesting. These players are playing really interestingly. You're seeing Thunderbolt of Zeus being attached to, uh... Oh, okay. Being attached to Yen Sid and immediately Yen Sid being discarded. Oh, that is legendary. Let's see. Oh, we're saying a pause here. You're seeing a pause here, maybe. Yeah, I'm guessing you need to go do something. Oh, there it is. We're back. Let's see. Both of these heroes are, or both of these villains are a bit set back. Of Maleficent less because uh, her fate tech has kind of already been churned out of answers, and we are seeing the play there. I think there's three dreamless, dreamless sleeps, but don't quote me on that. This could be the end for Chernobog here, as uh, that uh, that festival really set him back. We're gonna see Chernobog move to a fate location here. Uh, assuming he wants to discard here, maybe to keep that gluttony, a very unique condition, being discarded here. So truth and guards. That is game one. If that is game one there, Chernobog was just not able to catch up to Maleficent's uh, speed, even though he did draw all those answers. Uh, this is a... Uh, best two out of three, so uh, Trinobok does have another chance here to uh, catch back up. Uh, <sighs> Trinobok does have a chance here to uh, strike back up. We are disabling himself for sending timers. And it's a very unique condition. Unfortunate loss here for Trinobok as he was on the cusp of victory at, at, uh, at one point. But, uh, that has been lost. As, as we can all see, Melissa just, Melissa just does have that speed in her to recover. Uh, especially with the limited answers, making him one of the base, best villains, especially in the based box. And, in general, just... In, in general, really. Oh, let me, let me spawn in another candy land for them. Unless they don't. Oh, wait, 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 wait. My bad. <laughs> uh, the the lo the loser does get to, or the winner, uh, the loser does get to pick first. I think. Let's see, um, Lifts in going first here, the staff is a great early card here, and a vanish. We're seeing Mouse being discarded here, staff being a great early game card here, being able to... The timer's a little fucked up here. Oh, we are in black mode, though, we don't want to reset that. There we go. The timer was a little fucked up there, so they are going to fix it. Hey, Metacross, yeah, the finale here. Alright, there you go. We are seeing the timers, I think, corrected here. Represent will finish taking her turn. Uh, Steph being a great early game. Oh, she drew one too many cards. Uh, the Steph being a great early game alternative. Oh, here we go. We're saying Chernobog, immediate fate. Oh, terrible hand there. And sadly, sadly, Alligator Rival is being discarded. Oh, we're seeing King Stefan or Once Upon a Dream. Unfortunate, uh, Once Upon a Dream being discarded here. Uh, <clears throat> probably hurting Chernobog in the early, er, in the later game here. So 
let's see what happens here. Staff being played. We are saying, I uh, heard say it before us with Vanish. Let's get this one. Yep. So let's see. Alligator Rivals is uh, out here. Oh, ooh, Raven. Man, Trinibog is being smacked here. I think Ma uh, Maleficent just has the speed that Trinibog doesn't. It's like, he's being forced to keep fading, which isn't good for his health here. Drenazor's Rex is allowing the top three card of the Fate Discard file to be discarded. Maybe he can get into the flame soon. Ooh, there goes a Divine Intervention, and Frostberry's allowing that, that, uh... Oh, we're seeing a Fate, uh, sort of truth. Ooh, that is, that, uh, King Stefan is stopping that there, but we might see a Vanquish soon. Solitude. So let's see. Raven, Raven not moving. Interesting. Maybe Maleficent did forget about the Raven. Uh, no Raven move. Maybe Maleficent is forgetting. Oh, we're seeing a vanish here, which is allowing uh, Maleficent to fate multiple times on her another time on her next turn. There goes another Divine Intervention, uh, restricting Tyrannosaurus Rex from, from his availability. Yeah, Maleficent really is uh, grinding up some bone dust here for uh, Chernabog. Because he need, he's just playing catch-up here. Because he just needs to keep fading. Which is unfortunate for him. There goes Into the Flames and a Broomstick. We're seeing Guards and Aurora. Aurora is great here. But we are going to see Guards here to restrict... Uh, some card pl or some oh never mind we're gonna see the forest uh, even though maybe Maleficent is most likely staying at Forbidden Mountain uh, since she, she did play it it'll all come down to uh, it'll all come down to what they decide here Uh, Tyranny being discarded, discard. Oh, with uh, with Ravenia yeah, being discarded, so being forbidden. Cottage, cackling goon is gained now has has two strength, four strength. That's not enough to defeat King Stefan. She, maybe she's getting some bad luck here. We are seeing Sorcerer's Apprentice being played. These are very two scary villains, however, Chernobog, I fear, lacks the speed that he needs to match up Maleficent. But it, it will uh, just come down to how we see this in the future. Yensid's laboratory, uh, we see Chernobog moving to Yensid's laboratory, uh, moving Apprentice to keep that top fade open. Ooh, we are seeing that, uh, that festival being discarded that is great for Chernobog when he finally gets to... <clears throat> When he finally starts getting some ramp up here, we are seeing a second Firewoman's being played with the Firewoman's ability. Firewoman is uh, great to uh, move heroes down the board, not needing to rec uh, not needing into the flames. We're seeing Raven move to the to the Forbidden Mountains. Let's see. That is moving staff. We are seeing Maleficent move to King Stefan's castle. Maybe she does have a curse here. As we have seen an overlapping, underwhelming amount of curses here. Yeah, Mel, uh, Metacross, you are correct here. Uh, Mal does have the upper hand and will ha be for a while. Especially with the staff making her next curse cheaper, as I assume that is what she is going for. Yeah, we are seeing green fire. Give me a second real quick. We are on like a random thing because we are. Let's see if we can get some more music instead. Of here. No, this is fine actually. Alright, let's see. We are seeing a fate here. Uh, Dewdrop Fairy, a great restrictor uh, of uh, actions here. Uh, no Str Strotowski here. Drew Drop Fairy basically uh, discards allies whenever he moves there, but he does have the top fate open, so that isn't going to do much until... Uh, oh, we, we are seeing uh, Tyranny here. Uh, the timer will pause if 
Ah, no, they're fine. Uh, uh, Dewdrop Fairy not doing much until Bald Mountain is covered. Uh, we're seeing a fate here. Prince Philip, unfortunate that there is no uh, Horse of Thorns here, but... It, oh, we're seeing guards being played. Interesting. That is going to restrict uh, Maleficent's action economy right now. However, it really isn't what she wants. It isn't something... Well, I mean... Act, or restricted action economy is not something that she wants right now. What is Chernabog... Uh, what is Chernabog trying to do for now? Chernabog right now, I think, is he's trying to catch up to Maleficent. Uh, he's trying to catch up to Maleficent currently. Uh... He is, he is setting up the Firewoman on the right there, and um, <clears throat> he needs to keep that Fate Discard pile uh, stacked up with heroes if he does want. Uh, he's still under his control, currently is not at all in position to be winning right now. Oh, we do see a Dreamless Sleep on the forbi or on the uh, Green Fire's location. We're seeing Chernabog move to uh, Jensen's Laboratory. We're seeing Dewdrop Fa Fairy being vanquished. Raven is safe for now, as Prince Philip could not have been played to Raven's location. We're seeing a broomstick being played, as br when broomstick vanquishes a hero, uh, they can play a broomstick for free. This is the that is the ramp up of the broomsticks, allowing a bunch of uh, people, to, a bunch of cards to cover the realm. Maleficent's turn here. I think she can breathe a little easier now that Prince Philip is discarded. Uh, it seems like she's not moving Raven. Oh, maybe she is. She could have just forgotten. Nope, she's not going to move Raven. She's just moving. She is slowed down because of guards and her action economy. You're not allowed, not being allowed to fate uh, Chernabog. But we're seeing Force of Thorns here. Aurora and Prince Philip are both in the discard pile, so that is going to be a pain for her. We are seeing Trinobug moving to Bald Mountain to get that fade off. So let's see how this pulls off. Into the flames! I assume we're seeing... Yeah, Bronca's here. Uh, <coughs> slowing down that uh, that stop economy uh, in the fade deck. So now Trinobug is one-fourth there. Oh, Once Upon a Dream is going to discard that Force of Thorns, which would, under normal circumstance, not normally be discarded. That is amazing for uh, Trinobug here. Horrible for Maleficent. As she is, oh, no, we're seeing sort of truth being played instead. Interesting backtrack here. I would believe the Once Upon a Dream would be a better play, but I'm not the one playing here. A step is actually, oh, oh, yeah, of course correction here, of course correction here, folks. We are seeing <laughs> a bit of slowdown. Not to worry, though. Let's see what Maleficent decides to do here. We are well into the game here. Maleficent must have some curses in her hand. If not, she is really unlucky. We're most likely seeing her gain some power or maybe some more card play as she is restricted right now. If she, if she doesn't have curses in hand, she might want to... She might want to start discarding some cards. Maybe empty it up. But it's all up to the ante. It's all up to the ante and see what she can really pull, pull off. We're seeing a dragon form be played. Discarding guards from a location. This is also uh, disencouraging a fate. Let's see. She is moving as well to the forest, gaining three power. It's better three power on a savage goon, protecting that King Stefan's castle. Let's see Chernabog here. Chernabog does have a bit of breathing room now. That Maleficent's a bit restricted. We are seeing Sorcerer Apprentice being moved to Yensid's Laboratory. Another Firewoman! And now that they were defeated, that has immediately put Sorcerer's Apprentice down under his control. That is amazing for Chernabog here. Starting to get recovered. And we are seeing the top three cards being discarded. I think it is... I think it is in the uh, discard pile. Uh, one of the main stoppers. So we might see free range here. Uh, Raven is moving to... Uh, to uh, the Forbidden Mountains, moving Dreamless Sleep, weakening King Stefan, uh, weakening King Stefan's, yes, correct. Uh, we, oh, we're gonna see a Vanquish here now that they only have four strength and she has enough heroes here. Oh, even then, Sinister Goon is buffed. Oh, if we do see some backpedaling. Nope, 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 we're just seeing a Vanquish here. 
There goes King Stefan. Back into the Faith Discord pile. <sighs> that does make it cheaper for more cards to be for more things to be played here, but I think Maleficent, what Maleficent really cares about is the fate on Chernobog, seeing if she can stop him. Now that he is halfway there, she has played him the curse, meaning that she is three-fourths of the way there. It is concerning here for Chernobog. Frostberries and Madame Unova are up a Nova, sorry. Uh, not doing much, either discarding one, either removing one power, or just getting a slightly stronger hero. I don't think this is going to stop Chernobog. He must have some plays up his sleeve. If he has some, uh, some to the flames, he might want to use this opportunity to faint as Maleficent is gaining ramp right now. But we'll see. Yep, he is moving to Festival Broncos as predicted. He is checking his discard pile, seeing what's there. I think most is in the most most of the cards are in the discard pile. Yeah, we are seeing into the flames here. That means he is three fourths of the way there. We're seeing minions being discarded, and we are seeing a feed action. Guards are King Hubert. King Hubert. Oh, King Hubert is not allowing Dreamless to be discarded, and Guards is not going to do much. This is a scary situation as Maleficent does have her board set up real well. And if she can get Wincon next turn, it is going to be game. Guards being played. To that to King's Ooh. To Briar the Rose Cottage. Let's hope. Turtlebug wants to have that leg up. But we'll see. Raven moving to Briar Rose Cottage. I think we're going to see a discord action, unless it's a banish. I doubt that uh, immensely. Actually, maybe it is a ban. No, no, it's, it would be on our next turn. It is a discard card's action here. Going to the forest. If she just has one curse in hand. No! I, maybe that's why she is discarding. That is amazing for Chernobog to see, as now he can move, uh, he can move, uh, Madam, and also, uh, get some, maybe some Wincon here if he does have Into the Flames. As he will be able to at least fake next turn if he needs to. He is moving, moving, Madam Upanova. Upanova, maybe. This is a risky situation, scary for both players. If he has Into the Flames, he should be playing it now. Unless, if he does not, I assume that he is going to... Ah, uh, he is playing uh, Ben Alli Alligator. Uh, giving them plus one strength, allowing some weaker heroes as Jukas to actually count for his objective. Uh, weaker heroes are cheaper, I think. Uh, from what I think, uh, weaker heroes are cheaper, uh, but... They need to have four strength or more to be able to count towards its objective. Alligator, Ben Alligator, allowing that uh, those heroes to be useful. Yeah, uh, Mal would have been able to win already. However, unlucky circumstances has led her to uh, need to discard her hand. But I think we're seeing a curse here. Dreamless sleep. Fauna is would be a, a godsend right now. We are seeing a guards vanquish. This is scary. Oh, we are seeing Gluttony weakening Madame Upnova. Let's see a fate action here. I don't think anything will stop this. Yeah. Uh, Chernobog has full range to be able to, um, to play into the flames or anything to get some heroes down on the board. We're seeing Yen Sid being played, ignoring the ability of broomsticks and disallowing their ramp. However, this game still is in favor of Maleficent, so we're not I don't know if we're gonna see a clean match here. If it is officially at Widcon, it will it will determine on what these two cards are. Fauna being played! Oh, snap! Dreamlessly being discarded. That is uh, amazing for uh, 
for Chernabug here. Let's hope that he can get some... Uh, let's see if he can get uh, them in play. If he has into the flames, he should be using it now. It is risky. No, Broomstick just simply be moved to the right. No. Yes. <laughs> this, is, this is a uh, tense situation here. Another Broomstick being played. Interesting. <sighs> Interesting. We're seeing the end of Trinobog's turn here. Mm. Forgot to mention the music currently playing uh, is Supernova Shakedown by Gooseworks. She's an ama uh, amazing artist, music artist. Oh, Green Fire! Oh, he takes the fawns out. He needs Prince Philip, which I think is on the discard. Uh, but yeah, uh, Gooseworks is an amazing uh, music creator. Anybody should listen to them. Uh, she's amazing. Merryweather and guards, and that is unfortunately game. Oh, no, it isn't! Oh, it didn't even realize for the Thorns! My fault, everybody! Merryweather has stopped the game, and Merryweather is... Oh, but... Oh, but that... Savage Goon is not amazing place at the Chernabog. She can just easily recover, but that is allowing Chernabog to recover... Uh, just a tiny bit. He needs power, and he needs to play the flames, but Maleficent is not giving him that space to breathe. Savage Goon defeating Merryweather, allowing Chris to be played again, but I don't think she has a curse in hand. This is... This is a risky play. She did move Dreamless Sleep to the right to make Merryweather an easier vanquish for some reason, I think. Peter Pegasus, um... Interesting, we're not seeing chords being played here oh she does have a curse force of thorns oh and that is going to be game as ah oh, there it is that is game as uh Chernobyl cannot vanquish cannot cannot fade on the same turn Merryweather unfortunate was futile unfortunate game for these fellas or unfortunate game for Chernobog here would it would have stopped oh what's up on a dream was also there it would have been enough, but unlucky card draws uh, led Chernobog to lose this round, and that means the winner of this tournament is officially Brax2000. Congratulations, Brax2000. Uh, you played Maleficent amazingly, uh, and congrats to RPM for making it this far as well. Uh, he's an amazing player, and um, hey, Chernobog, I am going to be ending the stream here uh, of these two amazing players. Uh, that was Monster Mash, everybody. I hope you all enjoyed. You all have a great day, and you all stay safe. Thank you so much.